Let's jump start today and let's get right into the middle of a hole, but exactly to the middle of it. Welcome to another episode of Tips and Tricks of Diamond Drilling. Did you ever ask yourself where to set the anchor if you want to drill the hole in a specific location? There is a few functions on our drill stands that help you to define that. There is basically two functions. The first one we call a hole center indicator. This is a foldable piece of metal attached to the base plate that, when opened, shows to the exact location where the center of the hole would be. The second function is the so-called anchor distance mark on the base plate. You will find a value on each and every base plate that is the distance of the anchor to the middle of the hole. For the holding values of the anchor, that location is the exact perfect location to drill the hole. However, you have a flexibility provided by the length of the anchor slot on the base plate. Our DD150U system has an anchor distance of 292 millimeters, 11 and a half inches from the middle of the hole. This value is different from drill stand to drill stand, but it is always engraved into the base plate on each and every drill stand of ours. What does this mean in practice? So if I want to drill a hole exactly here, then I can easily define all possible locations of the drill stand by measuring a distance of 290 millimeters from this location. So if you want to have the middle of the hole at this location, you can put the anchor anywhere across this line. So far, so good. It works very well when you drill perpendicular downwards or horizontal, but it will not work anymore if you have to drill an inclined hole. By tilting the drill stand, the center of the hole will move away from the drill stand and it will not correspond to the location anymore that is shown by the hole center indicator. So, what do we do now? Do we potentially have anything among our accessories that could help in such a situation? Yes, we do. It comes in a nice little pouch and it can be applied onto the rail of the drill stand. It is a class 2 laser product with less than 1 milliwatt performance. I'll show you how to define the location of the anchor if you still want to have the center of the hole at the original location, but you need to drill this hole in an approximately 30 degree inclination. We take the Corbit out and we simply place the hole center laser with a magnet onto the tooth rack of the rail. We put it to the bottom so that the laser beam becomes very visible at the underground. So the deviation at 30 degrees is the distance between this cross and this cross that in our case is 65 millimeters. 65 plus 292 is 357. So now the new distance is 357 millimeters. I have now two options. I either simply pull the system back so that the two crosses meet each other. Or if I want to see all options, then I take the system away and I make a mark with the new distance, the 357 millimeters. Having the anchor at any of these locations along the line will take me exactly to the middle of the hole where I wanted to have it. The laser unit consists of two parts. There is the laser itself, which is a universally applicable item. And then there is different spacers that are adjusting your laser unit to different drill stand systems. There is a spacer for the DD120, there is a spacer for the DD150 and the DD160, and there is a spacer for all the tools that fit on the DD-HD30 drill stand. The laser unit is also a cool option for all those drill stands that do not have a built-in hole center indicator, like the DD160 drill stand. I hope that we have helped you that you have your drilling always spot on. Thank you for watching. See you next time.